All right, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to What is Shadow Up To? This is episode number two. There's one before this, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description, maybe if I feel like it. Anyways, what is Shadow up to, you might ask? Shadow is up to awesome things, as usual. Today, Shadow has just finished referring to himself in the third person. There won't be any more of that, sorry. <laughs> But uh, I have just finished working on this awesome Imperial Knight from House Terran. I'm just going to rotate it slowly because I don't have one of those like lazy Susan things and, uh, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah, anyways, enough with that now. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's a look all around this thing. It is awesome. It's so much bigger than I expected it to be. Wow. But man, was this a fun kit to build. I magnetized like the entire thing and that took a minute. And then I, well, of course I painted it all up and I put decals on and all together, this one model took about two weeks to build. And I have to say I cheated a little bit and I didn't actually build everything in the entire kit. Now I built all the important stuff that actually goes on the night, as you can see, like there's nothing missing from it. But when I say I didn't build the entire kit, what I mean is like all of the additional weapons and stuff. I built some of them. I built some of its like optional parts and things. Let's see if we can focus on this. This is the, I don't remember what this is called, but it's a, it's a big Gatling gun, basically. Uh, the, the Avenger or something like that. I think that's, that might be what this is called. Uh, anyways, I built this. So basically, this version right here is the Knight Paladin. So it has the rapid fire battle cannon, it has the Reaper chain sword, and it has a, a heavy stubber here, and it has a heavy stubber here on its Reaper battle cannon, right? But this, uh, this, uh, well, Okay, I'll just knock it all over the place. This option part right here will let it change from either the, well, it'll let it change from the Paladin. Uh, if we go like this, if we take this arm off, it'll let it change from the Paladin to the Knight Crusader. Or if we go the other way around, and we put this back on here and we take this arm off, it will let it change to the Knight Warden. This is actually, yeah, this is the Warden configuration. And then the Warden is the one that you see on the box art, uh, well, when you buy the Knight Warden kit, which this was, but the Knight Warden kit allows you to build any Knight, uh, well, any of the plastic Knight configurations. Now there are other Knights called the Knight Serastus models that are from Forge World. I'll probably get one of those eventually. In fact, I'll probably get two of them. I'll probably end up with the Knight Lancer and the Knight Castigator, the one with well, the one with the lance and then the castigator has a big sword and stuff, and those are really cool. But this here is the warden configuration, uh, but I'm going to put it back into the paladin configuration right now because that's the one I want to use. Now, for for magnetization on these, uh, it's pretty obvious what I did here. I've just stuck large magnets on top of, well, on top of the little thing, you know, where it would, the, the shoulder part would actually, or the, uh, not the shoulder, where the elbow part would actually connect into. Uh, what I was going to do in the first place, and what I normally see, let's see if I can focus on that a little bit better. What I normally see people doing uh, on the internet is drilling a, a recessed hole into the top of this. Well, it's actually hollow, but, um, but, is, but is mounting a magnet inside of this, right? And then drilling a hole up into the elbow here and recessing the magnets. Now, I was originally going to do that. And I, I got out the drill and I, you know, I drew, I made a little pilot hole and let's see, oh, I don't have my uh, hand vise in here. It's in the other room, but, uh, you know, I made recessed little holes and I started drilling pilot holes and just making it slightly larger. And at some point they just got off center. And I, I don't know what happened. So I was like, okay, well, it's not a complete loss. I'll just take, you know, magnets that will cover that and I'll just glue them on top. And that worked out fine. So that's that's what we have now for for the Gatling gun. I used a really big magnet because I wasn't thinking <laughs> at the time, and I took like the biggest three sixteenths inch magnet that I had. Uh, I think this is what like an eighth inch thick or something like that. It's it's pretty thick. 
This is a very strong magnet. It doesn't need to be this strong. It, let me say that again. It doesn't need to be this strong. You do not need a magnet with this much... Uh, I was going to say adhesion, but that's not the right word. You don't need a magnet with this much force. Let me let me put it that way. Um, this is also a 3 16th magnet, but it's thinner. I think this is... Well, I think it's 3 16th by... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the thickness of it is, actually, so I'm not going to say. This probably isn't an eighth inch. This, pro this one is probably not an eighth inch thick. I would... I'm probably saying that wrong, but um, I'm probably saying the wrong thing anyways. So, but it is th a, a 3 16th uh, diameter magnet is what I'm trying to say. And so is this one, but it works out fine. So I just put the same type of magnet on the, the top of the elbow and the bottom of the elbow. And, you know, basically that, that worked out fine. Now I did magnetize all the stuff on this kit. So as you can see, the top uh, carapace mounted weapon is magnetized. And what I did for this, and what I did, uh, I did this for the the missile pod too. But that's one of the things that I cheated on is I I built the missile pod, but I didn't actually finish it with this kit because I was getting really tired of working on it after two weeks. So what I did for this is the magnet is actually inside this piece. This piece is hollow. It comes that way. I didn't modify it at all. So I just glued a magnet uh, inside this to the bottom, and then on top of the knight here, you can see. Look, there's no magnet because I did the same thing. I've glued a huge magnet. I've glued the same size magnet as this is to the bottom of this piece. The inside of this entire thing is hollow. So I've glued the magnet inside here and it's strong enough that it that it will just clip this down pretty firmly to the top of that. And with you know with clear coat and everything, it doesn't really do anything to the finish. So it's it's strong enough to hold that there, but it's not strong enough to like damage the paint, uh, for example, or anything like that. Now I have also magnetized the, oops, wow. I have also magnetized the heavy stubber, uh, but this is another thing that I cheated on. I haven't actually built the melt gun that you can switch this out with, but I can build it and be able to switch this out. Now I also haven't built like the other arm uh, parts that, like I haven't built the Thunderstrike gauntlet and uh, well, there's one more. Oh, uh, the Melta. I didn't build the Melta because that's one thing I didn't magnetize is the front of this cannon part right here. This is not magnetized. This is actually just glued on so he can only have the battle cannon. He could never switch it out with, uh, oh, I don't remember what it's called. It's a big, it's a big Melta cannon gun thing, he can, but he can't switch that out for that. Now there's another point of magnetization here and that is the waist. I've, I've magnetized, well, the, the torso, yeah, the waist, what, I'll, I'll call it the waist. We've, we've magnetized the waist. So what I've done for this is I'm probably not going to get a good view of it on the camera, but I've just glued a huge magnet. I've glued this size magnet, whatever size this is. It's 3 16th inch diameter, but whatever thickness this is, I don't know. Uh, I've glued that just to the top of this. this. This hole already exists because when you get this, the piece that you put on here has like a little nub that sticks up and is supposed to go into this hole and then you glue it in place basically and then that's how that's supposed to go. But I didn't want to do that. So uh, what I've done is I've just taken this this magnet here and I've glued it to the top of that hole and then I actually had to drill this out. So I just took a 3 16 I, you know, I started with a little pilot hole and I just made it gradually bigger and I took a 3 16 inch drill bit and drilled into this and just made it wide enough to get a 3 16 three, oh my god, a 3 16 inch magnet in there. And then I just used some super glue and I put it on in there. And this is plenty strong enough to hold the entire night together with no, well, uh, almost no wobble. Very, very little wobble anyway. So yeah, it's pretty strong. Now the legs actually don't have any articulation to them or anything like that. They're, they're just there. They're just glued to the base. And no, I didn't base it. It's not based. I don't like basing. Now, I tried to make this look as much like the box art as I could. This is the House Terran uh, knight. Th I, I, don't, I don't know if there's a specific name for the knight that they display, but, you know, I, I tried to make it look as much like that as I could because, like, you know, I see something on a box and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. I want that exact thing. And so, you know, if it's something that comes unpainted or, you know, unassembled, unpainted, stuff like that, I'm like, well, I want that exact thing, so I'm going to try and make it look like that. And I, you know, I think I did all right. 
Uh, the only things that are different are obviously this knee and this shoulder. Oh, and I used a different part on here um, where I've, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll try and, I don't want to move the camera, but let's see if we can get this up here. I've written death on that. And then on the Reaper chain sword thing, uh, I wrote Reaper. My handwriting is terrible. Uh, I guess this probably isn't going to focus. Let's see. Ah, there it is, Reaper. And then uh, I had this idea for, you know, a knight army of, uh, an army of Imperial Knights that consists of five knights. And uh, I really like Voltron. And so I was thinking they could all be different colors. And then I uh, saw so on the chest of this one, it's kind of dark, but I've written Blue Lion. So uh, what I want to do is four more knights. I want to do two more of these plastic kits, and then I want to do two of the Forge World Knights. I'm going to do, the, like I was saying earlier, I want to do the Knight Lancer and the Knight Castigator, and then that will be five Imperial Knights, and then they'll all be... So this one's the blue one, obviously, but then we'll have a green one, a red one, a black one, and a yellow one, and it'll totally be the Voltron Force in 40k. How cool is that? And nobody copy my idea. It's it's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just kidding. If you want to do if you want to do Voltron themed nights, please go spend hundreds of dollars and <laughs> and do that because I'm I'm not joking about that. These kits are not cheap, and the Forge World ones are even more expensive. I was just pricing those out earlier, and you don't even want to know how much those cost. So <laughs> uh, I spend way too much money on this hobby. It's so much fun though. Anyways, so I'm going to turn this thing around one more time so you guys can see it. I didn't put a lot of detail into, like, the skeletal structure or anything. You might notice it's just all metal color. I'm okay with that. I put most of my time and effort into, like, the armor pieces that are actually colors. Because uh, I tend to think about things in terms of, like, this is a piece of military equipment, basically. I mean, it belongs to a noble house in terms of game lore, but it is a piece of military equipment. Now, when you look at military equipment, like in the modern day, for example, it's typically not all painted different colors and stuff. It's typically all like one color. Like every single part of it is like one color. And it looks cool in a paint job when you make a bunch of things, a bunch of colors, and it all looks cool and everything, but it doesn't necessarily look like the most realistic depiction of a giant war machine, in my opinion. So basically, that's my defense of being very lazy in my paint job. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode of What is Shadow Up To? I'm sure there will be more in the future. I've pretty much figured out my my camera setup and my microphone setup and everything over here so uh let me know what you think of the quality of this recording just just in general so this is my first time using it uh this is actually being record this is actually being recorded on my logitech c920 webcam because i needed something very small to fit in a very small space so i'm not recording it you know, like on my normal DSLR camera that I record all of my other, like, uh, you know, videos of things in the real world as opposed to videos of, like, things on the computer with, right? Okay, so just let me know. Oops, I just whacked my stormtrooper. Oh, uh, this is the stormtrooper, by the way. It holds all my paintbrushes and things. Uh, anyways, right, so just uh, kill my knight and uh, we'll get on with this. Right, okay, so... That's, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode of What is Shadow Up To? So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Do all that stuff that you normally do at the end or, or even at the beginning of YouTube videos. Uh, you, can, you can subscribe to my channel if you want. That would be cool. Um, yeah. Otherwise, catch my live stream every Saturday at midnight. And I might start doing another live stream on Wednesday mornings, maybe, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. All right, guys, that's it for this video. 
I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.